You do pelvic exams on patients while they're under anesthesia? Don't worry, it's fine. We're already in there rooting around. Why not let the med students get some practice? What I am hearing is that patients come in for an unrelated operation, and when they're unconscious, you are giving them a pelvic exam? No, that's not the whole story. Oh, good. I knew it. We also do breast and rectal exams. Oh my god. You're at least getting permission from the patients, right? We get implied consent. That kind of feels like medical speak for, well, she was asking for it. Well, she probably shouldn't have been getting an operation done where there are med students if she didn't expect the med students to learn. This can't possibly be a real thing that's still happening in June of 2025. It really is fine. Only 21 states have outlawed it. That's not even half the states. That's the opposite of fine. A 2023 study found that 20% of teaching hospitals admitted that they still do this. And a PubMed study from 2024 found that 41% of medical students admitted that they had given a pelvic exam to an anesthetized, anesth an unconscious patient, estimating that over half of those were probably without explicit consent. You're saying that this is still a somewhat common medical practice. That's how I know it's fine. And the medical students are just like, yeah, this is cool, let's, let's do that. Well, if they ask if the patient had consented and they hadn't, that might get me in trouble. And that's not fine. Get you in trouble. So there are rules against it. In 2024, CMS did update their guidelines to require all hospitals get explicit consent from patients. Okay, so that should fix it. It's illegal, or if you do it, a patient could sue you. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not a law. You can't sue me. It's just that CMS can withhold Medicare Medicaid funding from hospitals if they find out that they're not following the guidelines. So if I'm going under anesthesia, I'm just rolling the dice. No, you're fine. Why am I fine? Well, it mainly happens to women, so you don't need to worry. Why would that make me worry less? What are people supposed to do? All right, well, if people really are concerned, you can just bring someone with you. You can just bring a friend into surgery? No, it's just that having someone with you means more eyes, and I don't want to get caught. Or you could be, like, really pesky. The last time that you called me pesky, I was just advocating for myself. Ugh. But yes, just be explicit. Ask them what's being done, who's going to touch you, tell them to note your chart that you don't consent. Well, what if I just wrote that on my intake paperwork? Yeah, that one's probably the hardest for us to ignore, and it gives you some legal standing if you realize that something did happen. Realize? Are you saying that people don't always know? No, not usually. God damn. I was really hoping to finally end one of these videos on a positive note. Oh. It's fine. Just tell people it's fine.